Hey guys, Jason Creel, you're watching the Lawn Care Life. Today I want to show you a lot of the common weeds you're going to see in your lawn during the spring months, and we're going to identify these weeds in this video. If you think that'd be helpful, then stay tuned. Okay, one of the biggest things to being able to control weeds is being able to uh, properly identify them. What happens a lot of times is someone will buy some sort of broadleaf weed killer and spray it on their lawn, and a lot of weeds will die, but some of them won't die. To be able to control those weeds, it's very helpful to know what the name of the weed is so that you can then ask someone or do some research on how to best control that particular weed. So let's learn some weeds now. Okay, so it's springtime. And you can see this uh, grass, this is a Bermuda lawn that's kind of going through transition. So you can see the grass is still partially dormant, um, but is beginning to turn green as the weather warms. So let's check out some of the weeds. So here is a patch of Dallas grass, uh, one of my arch enemies when it comes to weed control. You see this time of year, sometimes the leaves will have a little purplish tint to them. A lot of people confuse Dallas grass with crabgrass. Um, there probably is some crabgrass uh, around this time of year, but it would be so tiny you would have to get down and feather through the grass to actually see it. All right, here's one. A lot of people, a lot of people might confuse this with clover. This is yellow wood sorrel. I might can find one uh, later that has a flower on it, but. It's uh, also known as oxalis, but I just call it yellow wood sorrel. I want to show you uh, right here, you see how green the leaves are on this one. And then over here, you have one that has a very purplish tint to it. And maybe somebody can help me out in the comments. I'm not sure if that is the, actually the same plant that just looks a little different or maybe two um, varieties. But I'm, I'm pretty sure both of these would be considered oxalis. Uh, I use a product called Change Up that works pretty good on these. Over here you still have got some wild garlic or wild onions popping up in the lawn. Uh, they'll be around for a little bit longer when the weather gets hot then they will go away. And hopefully uh, with a proper treatment less and less will come back each year. We've talked about this before in other videos but determine the difference in wild garlic and wild onions, one of the way to do it is to break off the leaf and if it's hollow on the inside like this one is, then it's wild garlic. If it's solid, it is wild onion. At least that's my understanding. Alright, here's a good example of, of a weed that sometimes gets confused with wild garlic or wild onion. So you see on over here we have wild garlic and right here you have one that's similar that also has a bulb in the ground this is called star of bethlehem it has a very light yellow flower almost white flower um, similar to the wild garlic and wild onions it'll hang around until the weather gets hot and hopefully uh, with treatment what it typically use some type of metsulfuron or uh, blindside has metsulfuron in it and that seems to work pretty well on these particular type of weeds. And now you can see because we're in springtime already you've got some leftover cool season weeds but you're already starting to see some things like this nut sedge. And that's what a pain that will be around for the next several months um, can be a challenge to get rid of. You got this time of year you start to see, at least in our area, you've got the Poa annua. A lot of times just referred to as Poa or annual bluegrass. It is uh, in a mature stage uh, and waiting on the hot weather to knock it out as well. Here's some yellow wood soil you can see that's about to bloom. It'll have little yellow flowers on it. There you go. You got a clump of Dallas grass here, and right beside it with these tiny little lavender flowers this is called field matter another weed that a lot of times when you spray like a broadleaf weed killer typically doesn't do a whole lot to the field matter i want to show you this look this shows you how little of dirt a weed has to have to actually live i mean this is basically growing on a rock and this is broom sedge you'll see this in a lot of lawns a tough weed to control And over here you have some grass that's starting to turn green. I believe, I'm not 100% sure, I believe this is carpet grass. 
Uh, it'll be a little easier to tell when it fills in, but if I'm not mistaken, that's carpet grass. Celsius is a product I use a lot of times to control carpet grass. And of course, the clover is thriving this time of year, especially on an untreated lawn. Over here, you got some geranium that has that crazy looking leaf. Of course, look at the dandelion here with all those seeds about to disperse on a windy day. And you still got some chickweed hanging around. And with the purple flowers, one that you'll see a lot of times cover lawns this time of year is some mature henbit. Hopefully this video has taught you some of the common weeds. Like I said, there's a lot of things that go into having a good looking lawn. A lot of these weeds could have been prevented with a fall pre-emergent and then some of them you try to knock out with a post-emergent early in the year. Um, a lot of these will be going away when the weather gets hot if nothing is done to them at all. But then a whole new batch of weeds starts showing up which are gonna be your warm season weeds. If you wanna stay in touch with some more helpful videos and learn how to take care of your lawn or learn how to grow a successful lawn business, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and check out these other suggested videos that I have for you.